So Camila, we got your invitations. Look how pretty they look. Oh my god, they're so pretty. I'm Camila, I'm 14 years old and I thought I had my quinceanera. Look at the look at the see the way they made it the way you want it. Remember when they did it like wrong? Remember? Yeah. I know. That's so horrible. If I'm nervous because I'm the first one to have a quinceanera and they never really go to quinceanera so they don't know how to plan one. So I like this. The roses. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty, right? It matches your theme, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, we can't change them anymore, so there's so, nothing you But I love them, so. <laughs> it's going to be like nerve wracking. Hey, Camila, I was going to ask you, did you already decide who is going to be your damas? No. <laughs> Okay, did you ask your sisters? Yeah. Should I ask them? I actually want them to be your damas because I actually want them to get excited. Like the way you're ex excited about this, I want them to be excited too when they turn 15. I've been trained by my quinceanera since I was like around 10. I was really girly. I used to wear dresses, pink dresses. Now like I want a red dress, all classy and like 90 vibes and all that. <laughs> it's like all different now. <laughs> What do I say to them? Tell them, do you want to be my dama? Right now we're um, planning my court and who's going to be in it. I think my mom wanted me to ask my sisters to be my damas because, well, they've never been in a court before. So I think it's kind of short, but I can work with it. Are you thinking they're not going to dance right? No, is it just like short? It's okay. <laughs> That's so okay. nice, Camila. <laughs> At first, I wanted boys and girls like together, but I decided not to because you know boys are not really like independent. So I was like, no, I'll just do girls and just my uh, chamelan. I think it would be nice if you ask them, even though they're little or not, just because they're your know. sisters. They're always gonna be your sisters. Yes, I know. <laughs> so I'll be on top of them. Daniela, Rosalind, can you guys come over here for a minute? Hey girls. Hi. Hi guys. So I wanted to ask you guys if you guys wanted to be my damas for my king set. Since you guys are my sisters, I want you guys to be part of my king set and have fun with me. I'll be your dama. I would also want to be your dama. Now that you have your damas, who's going to be your main chamelan? Um, I don't know actually. I asked my friends, but like, I don't know yet. I haven't like, Ask them like that many people yet. But you know that's a big responsibility, right? I know. It's a big responsibility, so we want to make sure that they actually go to the practice and be responsible. What about your cousin, little Julian? I don't know. For my quince, I wanted like a cute main chamelan. <laughs> I wanted to put someone like I'm not related to. Have you thought about it, someone? I thought about Rogelio's nephew. Why do you want that chamelan? Because he knows how to dance really good and he's like tall. And I think he's like the perfect height for me, so. Maybe now that you're getting older, we should talk about boys, okay? You're gonna be 15 soon. I know all your friends are probably dating and stuff. I've seen a couple that have boyfriends. So we should talk about this because I really want you to have goals for your future. Um, I'm actually, you know, I know you want to go to UCLA. I don't think she wants me to have a boyfriend because what happened to her? My mom had my sister when she was 15 years old. I don't think she had that many opportunities because she was a young, a young age. So I think she's just making me make big dreams and like do what's best for me. You want to make sure that you have a goal, um, you know, once, you know, because you're, you're going to be 15, then you're going to be 16, 17, 18, then you're going to graduate, go to college, because that's your goal, right? Well, that's my goal for you. What is your goal? You don't need to worry about it, Mom. I'm okay right now. Like, I'm just, like, studying, like, in school. Like, I'm okay. Okay, I just want to make sure that, because I don't want the same thing to happen to me, that it can happen to you. It's better if you just focus on your education and then, you know, go to college and do something for yourself. She doesn't have to worry about nothing. I'm studying and trying to focus on my work and try to graduate. Well, I'll go ahead and tap Rogelio, um, ask him, and then we'll see. If not, I would go with little Julian, your cousin, just because, um, you know, I want all the family to be like, you know, 
together and I want them to be, everybody to be happy. You got me? So my mom and my dad are divorced. They got divorced when I was smaller. I don't really think about my parents getting back together because maybe it was a, a reason why they broke up. I know it's about you, but I also want everybody to enjoy that day. I have a really good relationship with my dad and we're really close with each other. I can tell him anything. We can tell each other anything. I want everybody, you guys, to enjoy. I don't want anybody mad. I want everybody excited, okay? Okay. okay. There's kind of been drama because my dad's feeling really left out right now. Because I feel like because my mom's remarried and it's like kind of weird. <laughs> it's been very hard for everybody everybody to be involved for my kids say because I don't know, since we have like a big family now, it's kind of like different for me and everybody. So it's like weird and people feel left out. I thought about counseling my quinceanera because everybody is like getting, you know, like not included. And I didn't want nobody feeling like that, but I just decided to have one because I wanted to make my family happy. And I still wanted my, my family to have a first skin set because everyone wanted me to have one. And just like, I wanted that special moment with my dad, the father-daughter dance. I wanted, I wanted that to be a really special moment for us. <laughs> These photos, we're gonna use them for your um, slideshow. Okay, all of them? Mm-hmm. I didn't know you had this picture of me. Mm-hmm, that's when you were just born. I look like Alex here. We're like, you look like Alex. Yeah. There wasn't an age when you were a little bit different. I think I do look the same when I was smaller. Maybe I just wear makeup now, so I kind of look like a little bit Older. Yeah. A lot of people think I'm older, I think, because I'm more mature. And I help my mom a lot with my sisters. You're like the first quinceanera that, in the whole family, like in the both families, in your dad's side, yeah. and then my side. So that's going to be really exciting. Mm -hmm. It's exciting because it's one of so many. So I have a really big family. I have one sister, four half-siblings, and three step-siblings. It's kind of stressing because there's so many kids. I don't know, I don't know if anyone can relate to that. It's like a lot of us. There's so many. Four. Yeah, I'm the first one. So You're the first one, so I'm, I'm super excited. excited. Looking forward to this quinceanera. I think she's more excited than me because I'm the first daughter to have one. There's a picture when I was when I was smaller. I was like, like maybe 14 years old. So I was like your age and I look alike like you. I think she sees a lot of herself in me because we do look alike a lot. I've seen that picture, everyone mm -hmm. says we look alike. No, I think that's the youngest one. That's like, I have a baby picture too and I also look like you. So this quinceanera has been like very, um, a little bit stressful because you know how no one's, um, well actually not no one, but any, like in none of the family had any kind of money to like, um, help us with the quinceanera so we've been like shopping around trying to like be economic but be also like you said a little bit extra I wanted it to be like a very nice quinceanera so it's been really really hard just to like go and make the plans and make it happen so you know we have to work and being on a budget for everything just because I know that everybody doesn't have any kind of money so we want to make sure that we do it the right way since you know, our like the closest friends and family are helping us. We want to make sure that it doesn't cost us so much and we don't go over range. So I got, I started saving money from like when you guys gave me money or my dad. So I made like a box and I like started saving up and well, like I have like a like a good amount of money to give you. How come you never told me about this, Camila? I did. I want to surprise you. Oh my gosh! Are you serious? You don't yeah. have to do this for us. It's okay. I can't believe you have this. For how long have you been hiding this for me? <laughs> like, like six months. Like what, Camila? Oh, oh you're okay. so sweet. Okay, that's, I'm excited. Okay. I wanted to help you because I know you like really worked really hard to Aww, make my case and everybody. 
but mm -hmm. I wanted to help like help you dress. help everybody like you know oh you're so sweet you're such a sweet baby okay baby I'll accept your help <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for my quince. Yes, we're gonna have fun, best Camila. Quince. This is gonna be the best quince for in the whole family. <laughs> fun, best Camila. quince. Let's spill the tea on Camila and Jesus. Any opinions, guys? They're a little cute together. Yeah. Do you think Camila thinks he's cute? For sure. 